Greetings, it's me, Firebee, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Enhanced. Last time we went and looked out over the Great Marsh and its safari area, talked to people around Pastoria Town City. Uh, I discussed how they mention the happiness levels that Dr. Footstep talks about. I skipped the gym because Bacon appears there with a level 44 Starmie with Ice Beam, and nothing on my team is ready to deal with that in the slightest. So we moved on to Route 212 here, into the bog and rain. Let's see what you have to say. Hmm, the sea right beside the bog. I wonder what lurks in these waters. Legend says that the beast who has the power to expand the sea rests at the ground. But that's probably just some weird talk from the old folks. Really? You're saying Kyogre might be here? How interesting. And we got TM62 Silverwind. I believe I found Toxic last time. At the beginning of this area. Hi. Right. Hello. We're on constant patrol. It's safe here even at night. That's good. But is it safe from wild Pokemon? Not so much. Not so much. So yeah, since there's since there's the issue of a level 44 Starmie, I'm going this way and completely avoiding anything vaguely related to the rival for the time being. Maybe by the end of this route, I might be somewhat ready. Hey, it's a Venonat. I think I'm gonna spray Repel in a moment. Yes, yes, it's raining. I'm well aware of it. Let's see, where is it in here? There it is. I find it reassuring to be on this damp soil. As opposed to what? A Kadabra. As opposed to standing on a Kadabra, I'm sure it's probably quite reassuring to be on actual dirt. That X Defend I don't think will help you very much. The Alakazam line has the defenses of actual tissue paper. Wet tissue paper. You had to beat me. Well, yes. It feels good to mope here after a loss. We found a full heal. And a blue shard. What is the team looking like right now? Yeah, we can do a double battle. Why not? Protect the natural environment. Behave like Al Gore. That's what we rangers do. Hey, you trainer, are you being good to Mother Nature? Well, if nothing else told how old this hack is, that would. One of these things is a terrible thing to have out in the rain. This should be pretty easy. Except for the fact that Absorb has actually no damage to it. Oh no, 40 HP, whatever will I do? That's not gonna help you a whole lot. Unless that's boosted by the rain, I kinda doubt it. Nah. 
All right, Linguini, let's see if you can actually manage to hit the Charmeleon this time. That'd be great. There we go. And that should be that dealt with. And it is. Okay, sure. If that's if that's your method of self-destruction, go ahead, I guess. Sure. Alright, and one more Pokemon. A Leafeon. Well, you can get cut and slammed. Your quick attack will not do a whole lot. That's more defense than I was expecting. Do I have anything for that? Yeah, I suppose pudding's probably a better bet. Probably. Yes, let's hit the pile of sludge. This will certainly do us well. Sludge, and we'll go for another slam. Okay, that was enough anyway. Sure. We've got to get tougher than this. Good, you seem to be a kind-hearted trainer. Listen, people in Pokemon, we're all a part of Mother Nature. I love how natural it is here. I wish I could live out here. You probably could. Not sure how well that would go, but you could. Yes, you can reorganize items. And there's an item back here. An elixir. And if I could surf, I'd go over there, but I can't. So. There goes the repel, and that's fine. Mr. Backlot in the Pokemon Mansion looks forward to seeing visitors. He must be able to wait around because he wants to brag about something. Oh, I see. Hey, Citrus Berries. No, 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 I don't want to plan something. And an Asper. I've never battled a young trainer like yourself. It's quite nerve-wracking. Are, are you sure? Because despite the fact that trainers are supposed to be, like, at least ten, we've seen ones that are far less than that. I mean, there's an entire preschooler class of trainers. So... I mean, if anything would be nerve-wracking, that would be it. Ball gained a level. Special attack is finally over a hundred. Vile plume. Nah, I think we're good. We'll go for another cut. Yeah, and that bulk won't keep us back for too long. Yeah, it's still a three hit. Or thereabouts. I don't even think that will affect it much. We'll have to see, though. Depends on the variation. Nope, crit. Good job, Nopal. Oh dear, that wasn't anything like battling with my friends. Usually I'll have matches with members of my social club. Aha. Uh -huh. right, I ought to have... I... 
Do I have any Petra Berries? I have a lot of Petra Berries. How about... Some ordinary potions there. Just one more, I think. Yeah, that'll do. And what do you have to fight me with? If it pleases you, may I challenge you to a battle? Well, aren't we fancy? Oh. You have a spirit tomb. I see. This is a thing. Let's put some leech seeds up. I don't think anybody in vanilla uh, platinum actually has any has a spirit tomb or anything like that. So that's kind of neat to see here. If only fairy moves existed. Oh well, though. Ah, I was actually kind of hoping that it would get the boost from that. Oh, for a store. Well. You certainly spend lots of money on things. Not that it's going to help you a whole lot. This is still going to take two hits. I'm not worried about that. And dealt with. Useless crits out the wazoo. And a ton of experience. Bravo, your technique is impeccable for someone so young. And a lot of money, too. Haha, <laughs> I was invited by the master of the Pokemon Mansion. He's promised to show me through his prized garden of Pokemon. Has he? Uh, hello. Working hard at a trainer? Yes, you could say that. Probably. Trolls day and night, I'm feeling drowsy. I... I can imagine. But you. Why, hello there, it's nice to have an average citizen say hi to us policemen. I think... Hmm. I think there is a time of day where they will actually battle you, but I don't know when it is. It might be during the time that's considered night, and this is still morning. Or already morning, I guess. There are good trees you can smear with honey, and some you can't. Well, yes. What is this? I've given my Pokemon lots of poffins. I'm confident we'll win our share of contests. Traveled a long way to take part in these contests. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, we're all the way back in Heart Home City. Neat! Okay. I know exactly where I am now. Let's go heal up right quick. Since we're here. May as well. And then we'll go check out the Pokemon Mansion. See what we can find there. Alright, back on the bike. Wait, am I in the slow speed? Yes, I was. Alright, Pokemon Mansion, here we come. As soon as we stop running into trees, and bushes, and walls. I am clearly the best rider who has ever existed in the history of ever. Hello. Just between you and me, I think we're on patrol too much. My Pokemon sleeps in a bed I got from overseas. I'm very well off, if you haven't noticed. No, I didn't. I'd like to begin now. Are you quite prepared? A pair of rich people. One of them even had things on their Pokeballs. 
No pull out, I have fun with that. And I suppose we'll just slam on the combi. There we go. Dealt with that. I don't think the combi will have much. No. Thanks for the crit. I'm not even sure it was necessary. I was gonna say, I don't think we'll have much trouble with that. And I was right. What, over already? Well, that's fine. Rich people like me don't bite. Oh, how terrible of you. You. You must have one fantastic teacher to be so good. Yeah, it's me. Oh no, my Pokemon is worn out. I'd better let it sleep it off in the bed I had sent from overseas. Wow. Okay. I was gonna say maybe there'll be less snobbishness inside, but no, I think that'll be the opposite. Oh hey, you're a maid. This is the way out to the trophy garden. The garden is open for all visitors to enjoy. However, please beware, there's wild Pokemon. Huh. What's in the rest of this place? I'm not loafing, I'm just taking a personal break. It's my official policy to sleep in a bed when I am officially loafing. Okay. How about you? You know how you can catch Pokémon in the trophy garden? If you put this on a caught Pokémon, it warms up to you faster. Here, I'll share it with you. A Sooth Bell, I think I have one. And also a Shell Bell. I'm pretty sure I have one of those, too. How about here? An item! Yoink! A luxury ball! I don't think we can buy those yet, so... Welcome! Here you may challenge the mansion's pride, the five trainer maids! The challenge is to beat all five of us in a row without a break. In addition to beating us, you... you Oh, if you can beat us in a specific number of turns, there'll be a special gift. Incidentally, the turn is yes. And now, the five made knockout exact turn attack challenge! Five turns. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm of a level to handle this. Um... Let me think. That'd be one turn per battle. Uh, not quite yet, no. Let me put... Well, no. Starburst would take two turns to do things. Quitting often takes more than one turn. Nopal could probably deal with some of the things in one turn. But it depends on what level they're at. Benedict would take multiple turns. I'll come back to this and try it. I want to explore the rest of the place first. I'll remember that it's there. Don't worry. The expensive looking book Mr. Backlot has, it tugs at my attention. Mr. Backlot is the master of this mansion. This is his office. Okay. Just going to walk in, as, you know, Pokemon trainers tend to do. There's an item here. TM87 Swagger. How appropriate? Hello. Hey, you there! Do you want to touch the statue behind me? N -n -n maybe? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> well then, what do you want me to do, actually? Yes, I, th I think I do. Ha! But I won't let you! Ho ho ho! Now are you angry? You're pretty angry, yes? I'm, I'm not even mad! Do I actually have to say that I'm mad about this? Nah. Nah. You know what? I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch the butt. I'm very sorry, but please refrain from touching this statue. Fine, I'm gonna touch the book then. It's a very expensive looking book on Pokémon. Would I like to read it? Hell yeah! Oh hey, Manaphy. Never been seen, let alone captured in Sinnoh. And that's what it looks like. And we apparently got all the information on Manaphy in the Pokedex. Neat. 
Okay. How about you? Uh, what is it? Alright. So let's say that we're mad about not being able to touch the statue. Yes, I, I'm, I might be angry about this. I bet you are, but let me tell you this. You can instead catch a rare Pokemon, which I've seen in my garden today. But, Master, why, why don't we charge 500 Poke... Whatever for these, instead of letting all the random trainers catch your precious Pokemon. Oh, I have told you repeatedly that our service is totally free of charge. You are ignorant as usual. I am ordering you to leave. This will have consequences. Now why don't you go and catch some rare Pokemon in my beautiful trophy garden? Maybe you will see some Eevee. Have fun. Eh, if Eevee's the one in there, I'm not interested. Alright. What do you have to say? You might defeat our five mates, and you might find a way to touch the Pokemon statue. You could defeat all the gym leaders, and you could even be the next champ. However, no matter how hard you struggle, you will never find out what's hidden beyond this point. It's a matter of fate, don't you think? No. Oh well. I mean, if I really wanted to know... Wait. I think you're actually standing on the warp for that. So... No, I don't think I can actually get past that point. Alright, I said I'd remember. Let's, uh... Let's see how badly we fail at this one. The five made knockout exact turn attack challenge! Five turns for five battles... ...of an unknown level. Yeah, well, let's try it. Very well, our first maid, please! First up, my favorite color is blue, I will open the proceedings! Watch these all be level 50 or something. A Jigglypuff at level 28. Hmm. Okay. Now, I have one turn to knock this out. Which means that I lead off with a powerful attack, which means faint attack or cut. Out of the two, I think cut... Uh, I don't actually recall which has greater power. Cut has 50, 95, 60... Okay. So faint attack's actually stronger. Okay, we'll go for that. And it's stab, so I guess. But I don't think that's enough, if I had to guess. Hey, it is! Huzzah! That's enough to put us up to level 38. A lot of good points. Alright, there's one. And they say that we are strong. The next person up is quite strong, really. I'm pleased to meet you in battle. My best color is green. So we have blue, now green. With another Jigglypuff. Level 30. Oh yeah, these these levels are rising. Come on, no ball. Oh, what? You can't do that! What? No, Jigglypuff doesn't even learn Endure! How fucking rude! I even got a crit! I even got a crit on that! How fucking rude can you be? Just putting Endure on a Jigglypuff. You're so strong. Two exclamation marks. That was number two and a little bit tough. The next mate is even tougher. Do they also cheat? My lucky color is yellow, the sunshine girl. That's me. Another Jigglypuff. Oh, actually. Okay. So this just in... Jigglypuff can actually get Endure as a move tutor move. So that's technically legal. It's rude, but it's legal. And some terrible luck on my part, I guess. 
I don't think I can take this out in one hit. Can I? Not bad. Good job, Nepal. I mean, we're still going to hit six turns, unfortunately. Three exclamation marks. The next maid is a wee bit stronger than I am. Pink is the color I can't do without. I'm the fourth in line. This is probably some pretty good training, if I had to guess. With an another Jigglypuff level 34 this time. All right, Nopal, let's keep going with what we're doing. We'll see how strong things are before we don't actually one-shot them. Apparently, they have to be pretty strong. Four exclamation marks. The, the next made-up is really strong. That's five turns, though. Congratulations, you've defeated four maids so far. You have taken up five turns. Now the target was five turns. My symbolic color is red. Prepare for number five. I probably would have managed this if it wasn't for that one Endure. This is level 36. Let's see if Nopal can handle it in one. Whoa! <laughs> Are you shitting me? I bet all these Jigglypuff have Endure. And it was just bad luck. I could have... I could have fucking done it! I could have done it too! If it wasn't for that damn endure. No Paul could have pulled this whole thing through. But no, they had to have endure. Five exclamation marks. You knocked out the five of us, you have to be splendid. Congratulations for your sweep. The targeted number of terms was five, you took seven. Yep. Oh, how disappointing for you. No! How fucking annoying for you! For me. Yeah. Because you have fucking Endure. Like, how how rude can you be? Like, oh, hey, so you have to knock everything out in one turn, but there's like a one in four chance that we will force you to take two turns. Because there's, as far as I'm aware, nothing that goes beyond Enduring things. Unless it also inflicted a status that same turn. And it died to that. How fucking rude of you! That said, you swept the five maids. That's plenty to be proud of. Please visit again tomorrow. Can I do this again today? No. Okay. That's a once a day thing. I suppose... We can go and check out the garden. Is there anything hidden in here? Looks like a no on that one. Let's see what Pokemon are hidden in here, other than the Eevee. Presumably there are Pokemon in here. Yeah? I don't have a Repel up. Um... There's Pokemon in here, yeah? There they are. For an Azurel. I see. I guess that's rare. Let me get on my bike. Maybe then I'll get an encounter center. There we go. Low encounter rate in here, though. Yeah, it's probably just mainly baby Pokemon. First stage. Stuff and whatever special Pokemon they have. Probably. Looks like. Although we could technically already get Cleffa. If I really wanted to, which I didn't. But that's the thing. Uh, and it looks like that's pretty much all I can do in here, at least today. Technically, I can go back tomorrow and try some other things. Nothing on these statues? Okay. So, we might check in at the beginning of the next part. So, keep an eye out for that. And then I'll probably make my way back down to 
Historia. And maybe we can eke a victory out against Bacon. Who knows? The only one way to find out, and that's if you come back next time. So, until then, farewell. <laughs>